This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I use the Z Modeler brush to fill the gap between two concentric cylinders? So this question was set in with an image. So here is the image example here. And it's asking how to bridge the gap between two cylinders like so. So I'm gonna go over to ZBrush here and I have created this object. So these are two cylinders and they're just single-sided geometry that are independent of each other. So to fill the gap between these two cylinders here, I'm gonna show a few different methods. So first I wanna just come over to the tool palette over here and I'm gonna to go to the display properties and I'm gonna turn double on. This is gonna allow me to see the geometry, which is single-sided with back faces. So now I can get a little better view on the model here and this is gonna allow me to select faces a little easier. Now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna select the Z Modeler brush. So I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard. I'm gonna isolate by the letter Z and then I'm gonna press M to select the Z Modeler brush. And with the Z Modeler brush selected, I just wanna hover over the outer band here. And I just wanna hover over a polygon here. I'm gonna press spacebar to bring up the Z Modeler poly action menu. And in here, I'm gonna make sure I have the Q mesh action selected. And then I'm gonna choose the option of polygroup all. So when I perform this Q mesh action, it's going to look at the poly I'm applying the QMesh action to, and then it's going to apply that same QMesh action to any poly that has that same poly group. So if I apply it to this polygon here, it's going to apply it to all of these polygons around this poly group. So I'm just going to hover over one of these, and then I'm just going to simply click and drag inward. And as you drag inward and get close to that intersection there, you're going to see it's going to snap, and it's going to fuse that section. So it has bridged that gap. Now you'll notice that since that inner area was a single-sided polygon, that it has now removed that portion there. So it made the connection, but then I don't have that inner area of geometry. So after you have bridged the gap, you can now just close the holes between these two. So I'm gonna hover over one of these open edges here. I'm gonna press spacebar to bring up the Z Modeler Edge Action menu. I'm gonna select the Bridge Action here, and I'm gonna select two holes. And so what this is going to allow me to do, it's gonna allow me to select one hole here. And then if I click the second hole here in the back, it's going to now bridge those two areas. So now you can see it has still kept those two radiuses of those two cylinders. And now I have bridged both those portions together. So now if you don't want this center line that's been generated here, you can hover over this edge, press space bar to go back into the Z Modeler Edge Action menu. I'm gonna choose Insert. And I'm gonna hover over that edge and hold down Alt and then click, and then that'll remove that edge loop. So now I have those two concentric cylinders joined together. So that is one method you can use to do that process. Now, if I undo this back to my original object here. So here is another method you could use. So if your object is a complete cylinder, like so, you can use radial symmetry along with bridge edges. So I'm just going to take my model here and I'm gonna to come to the transform palette up here and just open that up. I'm gonna activate symmetry. In here, I'm going to turn on Y symmetry and turn off X and then turn on the radial option. Now I know how many sides my cylinder had, so I'm gonna type that in so it had 32 sides. I'm gonna hit enter. And now if I come back to my model and I'm gonna come over here and turn on local symmetry. And if you have local symmetry on and your model is cylindrical, it's going to use the local symmetry of your model. So even if this cylinder was placed off the world origin inside of ZBrush, if you have local symmetry on, the symmetry option here should work. So now, as you can see, if I hover over my model here, it's going to apply that radial symmetry across my cylinder here. So you can see as I hover over these edges, it's going to highlight all those 32 edges that are around each concentric cylinder. So I can just hover over one of these, hold down spacebar to go back to the Z Modeler Edge Action menu. I can choose bridge this time, and instead of the two holes option that I just used, I'm gonna change this to edges. And now I can simply click one edge and then click a, another edge on the outer side, and it's going to bridge all those edges together. And I can repeat this function on the back by simply clicking once and clicking again, and now I have bridged both sides of those concentric cylinders there. So that is another process you can do with the Z Modeler brush to bridge those two cylinders. Now for a final third option here, and this process works the best with models that have slightly more geometry. So this one right here is pretty low, so the Z modeler options are gonna be your best bet. But if you navigate over to your brush palette over here and open this up, you can select this curve bridge brush here, 
And with this brush, you simply just want to come to your model, click and drag, and while you're dragging out, hold down Shift, and this will snap to an open edge. And so you establish one edge, like so, with that curve, and then find another edge, and simply click and drag and hold down Shift. And when you release that second one, it's going to bridge the gap between those two curves you just generated. So this process works the best with models that have a lot more topology for filling holes, especially DynaMesh models. As you can see with low resolution models like this, you may end up with some different triangular artifacts like so. So you can see it didn't quite do a quad outline across the entire piece here. So if I wanted to use this process, I'd now just need to come through and clean up this geometry here. So first I just wanna get rid of my curves. I'm just gonna hold down Alt and click, and then I'll delete those curves there. Then I'm gonna go back to the Z Modeler brush by pressing B on my keyboard, isolating by the letter Z, and then pressing M. And now I'm going to hover over these polys and press spacebar to bring up the Z Modeler poly action menu. I'm gonna choose the delete action, and make sure my target is set to a single poly, and I'm just going to remove these geometry anomalies here by just simply clicking, make sure I get all those taken care of. Then I'm going to hover over an edge again, make sure I still have that bridge action selected with a target of edge. Click the first edge, click a second edge, click the first edge, click the second edge. And now you can see I have fixed those geometry anomalies, and now I have those two concentric circles joined. So those are three processes you can use inside of ZBrush to bridge two concentric circles. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.